guys, it's Natalie. Welcome back. Today I have for you an updated makeup collection. I asked you guys on Snapchat what you wanted to see today and many of you guys screenshotted the makeup collection. I believe it's been over a year. I'm going to link my previous one if you guys want to see the glow up because let's just say it's gotten a lot bigger which is a blessing but also a stressful blessing when it comes to organizing it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you haven't already, follow me on Snapchat. Not gonna lie, I feel like I'm pretty cool on Snapchat and I also do some pretty cool giveaways. So let's jump right into it. All right, so this is my vanity. I have two Alex Nine drawer, the other one's on the other side, but I'm going to show you guys this one first and then show you what I have on top of here. Up here is basically where I do my makeup every day. Not gonna lie, I like doing it standing up. So I use this mirror, which I got from Michaels, I believe, or TJ Maxx. Then this clear vase in the back has a bunch of skincare stuff. It has some of my pixie stuff, some nighttime creams, my toner, and then some more moisturizers on the other side. Now let's move on to one of my Alex Nine drawers. First up, I have my concealers and primers. I try my best to basically organize it by step on how I wear it. I don't know if I should go in depth with everything that I have because we would be here all day long. So I'm just going to briefly tell you guys. Here I have primers. This one is my Hourglass Veal Primer. I have the Nivea Primer, Cover Effects. This one's a Peter Thomas Ross one. I have Estee Edit in the bottom, Prime Time, some Tarte Primers, and the Laura Geller Primer. All the way in the back, I basically keep backup or new products. And then here I have some concealers. These are the Born This Way from Too Faced, a Tarte Concealer, Tarte Amazonian Clay, Laura Geller Concealer. Then I have some NYX concealers there, LA Girl Pro Concealer. We have the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Then we have basically the concealers that I use the most, the Nate Naked Skin Concealers, True Match. In the back I have Ofra, Maybelline, Instant H Rewind, and then my MAC. These are a little bit old. Next to that I have some color correcting stuff. This is a Milani eyeshadow primer. So yeah, these are the Naked Skin Color Correcting Concealers, a new concealer from Wet n Wild which I recently tried out, and then the color correcting palette from L'Oreal. Next is my foundation drawer. Yes, this is a lot of foundation, but I do keep some other colors in here just in case I do make up on other people. Right here, I keep some of my infallible foundations. These are the matte ones and then the Pro Glow right next to it. On top, I have the new Wet n Wild foundation. In the bottom of that, I keep my Makeup Forever Ultra HD with my name engraved. And then it's the Anastasia Stick Foundation. Right behind it, I have my Laura Geller Cover Lock Foundation, which is currently one of my favorites. And then right under it, I have the Infallible Total Cover Foundation. Next to that, True Match Tarte Amazonian Clay. All the way in the back, I have some new stuff or backup. Uh, Circa Foundation right here. Cover Effects. I have some Jordana Foundations. These are my favorite for the summertime. And then the Cover Effects Natural Finish. Under it, I keep the all-nighter foundation from Urban Decay. Next drawer is brows and highlights. Let's start from the highlights. I have some Pixie stuff, Essence, some Ofra, Gerard Cosmetics. This is Naked. Then I have some liquid stuff in the back, which I don't really use. Laura Geller highlights, which I love. All the way in the back, I have some Urban Decay and Ofra. Then right here, I keep my Peach Glow from Too Faced, some more Ofra highlights. And then on the other side, I have brow stuff. Maybelline all the way in the back, Ardell. This is some Pop Beauty stuff, some Anastasia Dip Brow, uh, Reina Rebelde. We have some NYX. Back here, I have some pencils and brow gels. And then this is my favorite brow stuff from Benefit. The entire collection I love. This one is the powder, brow gel, pencil, cabrow. And then I have some backup right on the side. Next drawer, I have my powders and bronzers. I have some loose powder in the bottom from NYX. It Cosmetics Airspun. Love this, as you know. As they edit, NYX, some cover effects, some Laura Geller powders right here. Back here, it's an As they edit bronzer. I have a backup of my Infallible, another backup of the Hula back there, and then three of the Infallible Pro Matte powders. More. Hula, I really love this bronzer. Urban Decay Naked Skin Powder. I have a Lancome bronzer, and then these are all bronzers, starting with Circa, Tarte, Too Faced some NYC, Laura Geller, and another Too Faced back there. Next we have some blushes and single eyeshadows. These are all Urban Decay single eyeshadows. The blush palette from Naked, I believe. Yeah, that's a flushed one. And then some Urban Decay blushes back there. I keep them in the packaging because first of all, it's cute, and then I also know what I have. 
you know? All the way in the back are some MAC blushes and also NYX. And then we have Milani. These are all blushes as well. Starting with Benefit, Laura Geller, Tarte. We have some Cargo, Estee Edit, Too Faced. This is Essence, Laura Geller, and then Reina Rebelde back there. The next drawers are basically hair stuff. These are my hairsprays and dry shampoos. More hair stuff. We have some sprays, some leave-in, um, some treatment. And then all the way in the back, I have some summer stuff. And then some... What are these called? Sunscreens. Last two drawers are pretty pointless. I have some backups and then some uh, bags right there. All right, so my other Alex 9 drawer and the rest of my makeup, it's where my shoes are at. Up here, I have some more makeup. This is a PR package that I got from L'Oreal from Ponyboy. How cool is this, guys? And that was New York for you. But this container is, I believe, from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And then this one, I'm not too sure, but I'm going to be linking it down below. Everything that I mentioned in this video or that I showed is going to be linked down below. So make sure to check that out. Um, let's start with some of the lipstick up here. We have some Milani and then Urban Decay right on the side. This is actually really hard to open, which is why I barely use it. But I have some Circa stuff back there. And then in the bottom, I keep my Milani liquid lipsticks. This acrylic organizer compared to that one. I love because first of all it's so easy to slide and then it's just really convenient it has four big and then a little small one up here which I keep some nail polish from L'Oreal I have some sunglasses back there and then some nail stuff some cotton uh, nail polish remover and all that stuff right here I have my everyday foundations not really I feel like I haven't used these in a long time the naked skin foundation the all-nighter naked skin one and done all the way in the back it's the rainforest of the sea I have the Too Faced born this way foundation which I really wish it worked on me but it kind of broke me out and then this is the cover effects moving on with some Urban Decay setting sprays and some e.l.f. setting spray. And lash drawer, I keep some lashes, some like glues and other stuff all the way in back. Let's move on onto the Alex 9. First drawer, we have some mascaras and eyeliners. These are just basically my favorites. Telescopic, Miss Manga, Dose, Voluminous, some Tarte, Too Faced, you name it, they're there. All the way in the back, I keep my backups. Then we have some eyeliners, just, just all over. Not really organized. My liquid liners. We have some Essence, L'Oreal, Urban Decay, Laura Geller. We have some more liquid liners here from Urban Decay and L'Oreal. They're basically just like the colorful ones. Some Revlon right next to it and then some gel stuff that I barely use. Then we have some single eyeshadows, pigments, and Halloween stuff. We have some Estee Edit right here, L'Oreal. Alexa Persico, some like glittery stuff from Hard Candy and NYX. These are Makeup Geeks, some Circa little quads, L'Oreal quad, single eyeshadow from L'Oreal, and then the Naked Skin Basics. And all the way in the front are two Reina Rebelde little quads and Halloween stuff right there. Moving on with lips. We have some liquid lipsticks here. Ofra right over here. I love Ofra liquid lipsticks. Some of the infallible mattes from L'Oreal, Jouer, some more infallible paints back there. Then we have some lip balms from Pixi and Estee Edit and then some more liquid lipsticks from Gerard Cosmetics. These are my faves. More lip stuff. We have some liquid lipsticks from MAC. Then these are L'Oreal lipsticks, NYX lipsticks, Estee Edit lipstick, MAC. These are Gerard Cosmetics, which looks so cute. They're like little bullets. These little containers, by the way, are from TJ Maxx. And then the other acrylic ones are from the container store, if you were wondering. These are some chunky sticks from Reina Rebelde and lip glosses. More lip glosses in the back. Some Urban Decay lip glosses. These are the Lilac and La Matte from L'Oreal. And that's it. More lip stuff. I know. Does it ever end? This is the last one, though. But these are just all of my lip liners. A lot and just all over the place. I basically, it's it's a hassle trying to find one color, but hey. Some Smashbox lip glosses back there. Kiehl's lip balm, some sharpeners right there. Bobbi Brown lipsticks or lip glosses and then some liquid lipsticks from Urban Decay. Next drawer, palettes. I didn't really put too much effort into this one as you can see. It's probably the messiest, but we have some Laura Geller, the Vice palette, Naked palette. Uh, some more e.l.f. stuff, Zoeva palette, the Moondust palette, Marc Jacobs, the Tarlets are right there, and then these are the Estee Edit, NYX, L'Oreal, Pop Beauty, and then the Naked palettes right there. This is probably my favorite drawer, is my skincare and mask. I love this, just some Erno Laszlo, some Micellar Cleansing Water, Strevectum, more masks, 
you know, if you want to see my mask collection or my favorite mask, I'll link it down below for you guys. If you were wondering, this is where I keep my feminine stuff, you know, tampons, you name it, liners, it's there. And then just miscellaneous stuff all the way in the bottom. All right, so let's finish showing you by what I have in my vanity. I have my brushes up here. These containers are from Target, and then that fake plant is from TJ Maxx. My iMac, and then I have that little container, which is from TJ Maxx. I've gotten a lot of questions on that as well. Most of my stuff are from TJ Maxx, guys, decoration-wise. And then I have some more brushes in there. It's actually just for decoration, and I decided to put brushes in there. Not the best idea because it's constantly tilting as you can see but it's pretty i'm not sure if you guys want to see what i have in here but i'm just going to briefly show you you know just like your regular everyday girl stuff just like your messy drawer my desk by the way is from target all right so that was pretty much it i know i know i have a lot of stuff but as you know, this is basically my job and trying out new products and all that stuff. I just wanted to mention I'm pretty blessed and thankful with the job that I have and being able to try out so many products and brands send me stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Subscribe yeah. if you're not already. Give it a thumbs up and see you next time. Bye!